Okay. Um, all right. All right. Hello, uh, this is Generation Catalano Podcast. Uh, it's the ninth episode. It's December 19th, 2012. Uh, I'm Josh, and I'm here with David. Hello. Yep. And, uh, yeah, it's uh, December 19th, and uh, so that means we've only got two more days, and then uh, that's the end of everything. But uh, if you're here for a 10th episode, then you know all that is bullshit, so we'll see. Yeah, there's, yeah, I keep hearing of all these, like, end of the world parties. You know what's funny? Today I heard of an end of the world party that takes place on, uh, wait a minute, Friday is the 21st, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> I guess that makes sense. Yeah. That's funny how it's on a Friday, too. And everything. Yeah. But, uh. I just hope. I don't know. I hope people aren't just gonna be retarded and start looting and shit or something stupid. I think they're like already that. being retarded. I mean, my own little theory is that uh, some of these school shootings or whatever. Or, mm -hmm. you know, the Sandy Hook Elementary School, I think that was kind of related. Um, because on the, also on the same day, there is like a, there is a stat, there is like stabbings at an elementary school in China. And like the same amount of kids were like, I don't think they died, but the same amount of kids were like stabbed. But I think it, I don't know. I, I think it's somehow related, but of course that's just like, funny conspiracy talk but who knows like maybe there's some dumb shit like we need the blood of children we need children sacrifices <laughs> that'd be stupid but uh i don't know i thought that was too much of a coincidence yeah and it's it's definitely hard to figure out what's real or not like with the media yeah. and shit yeah, everybody's yeah, I don't know, it's really just like any season, or like, especially Christmas is the worst, where it's, it's like if there's something to talk about that they know people are, are already have on their minds, then they're gonna put it on TV. Mm -hmm. like it's, it's really heard, uh... crazy, it's relentless like that, that's why I, I really hate watching TV most of the time. I heard uh, today on the news, uh, like, some volcano in Russia that hasn't erupted in decades is, like, going crazy or whatever. I was like, here, here it goes. <laughs> but, uh, I don't know. Uh, yeah. That's one of, my, uh, one of my fun activities of late is to look at stuff like that and just be like, here we go. But, of course, now, once, uh, once the 21st pass, I'm going to be bored again. Like, hey, nothing else to look forward to. I don't know. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah. <clears throat> so, yeah, this episode is going to be pretty f free form. Um, I haven't really been keeping up on any, like, gaming news stuff. Uh, yeah. So. I mean, I did see one, some video of, of that Wii Mini unboxing, oh, yeah. and, uh, yeah, that thing seems pretty terrible. I guess I'll mm -hmm. say for the listeners, uh, the Wii Mini is, a Canada-only version of the Wii, and it only plays Wii games, so no GameCube games, yep. and... Uh, it's even worse. Uh, they it won't it doesn't go online at all either. Yeah, I heard about that. Like, there's no like, there's no way for it to connect. Like, there's no uh, uh, like, um, yeah, there's like no Wi-Fi in it, and they don't have like any way of even put plugging in like a LAN adapter thing. Like, it's completely taken out of it to the point where they even. 
they even like customized the Wii menu to where you can't access internet settings or anything like that. Like they did that extremely like on purpose mm -hmm. or whatever. So yeah, it, and that thing's really ugly. It it has mm -hmm. a really ugly shade of red that's kind of it's kind of like the Famicom, but uh, I don't know. It looks worse than that, and. It, it really looks like it's made of some old, like, Super Nintendo plastic or something. Yeah. And it looks really, mm -hmm. like, just like a chunk of, like, yeah, like a rubberized plastic-looking stuff. And it's really not even small, that much smaller than the Wii either. Um, yeah. It looks like I, it's it, thicker. I swear, yeah, I swear it looks bigger than the Wii, which is... I don't know, that's really retarded. Yeah. I don't know what's going on. Maybe, like, there's... Maybe they're... I know they're at least trying to do something in Canada, like some stupid PR thing, but I don't know who are they looking for to get that. Like, I don't right. know. Um, yeah, it's, it'd be really hard to figure out who that... who they're trying to market that to. Uh, I don't know. I'd figure it's, it's, maybe it's kind of just for, you know, people who s somehow they didn't buy a Wii, but somehow still care to buy one. And, you know, maybe it's just that you can get really cheap used games for it. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Um... Uh, and apparently... Apparently they've been coming out with more of those, uh, of the new Mario Brothers, uh, 2 for the DS. Apparently they've been coming out with more of these, uh, level Force packs. Uh, yeah, I got, or, um, yeah, I did get the, uh, classic levels, but, um, yeah, I saw quite a bit on there last time I went on the shop for that game. Like, they had quite a bit. But, uh, I don't know. I do like the classic levels. Um, those are, like, fun to play, and plus you can get a ton of coins playing those. Uh-huh. You know, uh, since we're talking about, uh, video games, um, I guess I'll ask you how has, uh, Assassin's Creed 3 been? Oh, right, yeah, I've, uh, been borrowing that, um, and it's pretty awesome. I actually beat it last night. Um, cool. Although, like, the ending was pretty, like, I don't know, like, the ending wasn't, it didn't feel right. Like, I felt like, I, I felt cheated out in the ending, or whatever. I was like, what? It shouldn't end like this, or whatever, but, I don't know. Um, but the, it's really awesome to play, and I love uh, I love all the wilderness stuff, going around and just like hunting animals, and on your spare time is pretty fun. Um, but uh, it it does look really nice, and the the cities and stuff are way more vibrant with like life. There's animals running around and stuff, and um, like the people. Like, the ambiance of the people chatting throughout the city is, like, more lively, it seems. Like, it, you get to understand more. Like, you don't really... If you listen closely, I'm sure you could hear, like, whatever they're talking about. But, I don't know, it's it's still mm -hmm. pretty... Uh, I think it's still a lot better than the other games. But, um, it's... Uh, Pretty yeah, nice it game. looks like it's a, a real big step up from one and two. Yeah. Um, some of the side things that you can do seem pretty like just thrown in there, just so that they could be in there. But uh, I don't know. Like they still have some of the elements from other games, like where you can kind of hire other assassins. Or, but they're not they're not really like assassins that run around with you but they're other people that kind of join the brotherhood 
and help you mm -hmm. out and stuff, and you can have them do things. Um, like you can call them to assassinate people, or you can call them to start riots, or you can just call them for like bodyguards or whatever, but they still have that kind of stuff in there. I do like the ship sailing on that game. They have different various missions you can go on, and you can basically just, uh, you know, you, you have a big ship, and you go around, and you have to... Uh, you know, either destroy other ships or find a ship that's out somewhere or something, but um, that's pretty fun. You can, like, upgrade the ship as well with uh, with upgrades, like uh, an improved hull, like an iron hull, or, like, extra cannons or stuff like that. Um, mm -hmm. so that. That aspect's pretty cool, too. But, cool. uh, yeah, there's quite a bit to do in the game. And plus just the running around and jumping on buildings and stuff is made a little bit easier. And that's usually always fun. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I really liked the, uh, I really liked how you can, like, climb trees and do the hunting thing, kind of like uh, De Red Dead Redemption. Yeah, exactly. Um, yeah, there's uh, there are animals in there that can like fight back and stuff. Like they've got bears and wolves, and sometimes like your big like deer that have like huge antlers that can like try to attack you with them. But uh. Mm. What's good though is like it's kind of hard to catch those animals sometimes like uh, but mostly like the bunnies and stuff like they're pretty damn fast. You can just like if you try running after them, you're, you're there's no way you can like really catch up to them. But if you you got to use certain like methods of like running around trees and stuff. And, I know the best way of doing it is like getting up into the trees and then dropping down on them is easier. I know mm -hmm. that the, that's one thing that they stress. Well, not really, but uh, one of the advantages of hunting is doing it by hand. That way you don't end up damaging any of the fucking pelts that you harvest off of them. So they kind of want you to run after these things and catch them by your hands instead of like shooting them with guns or arrows stuff like that, so, mm -hmm. um, it's pretty fun. I, um, yeah, I still haven't, uh, hooked up my Xbox, I've been busy with other shit, been trying to do more YouTube videos, um, I got my yeah. camera back, finally. Mm hmm um, um, what kind of videos do you have on YouTube or whatever? Well, most, like, most of my goals for YouTube right now is just, just kind of proving my skill, sort of, like, um, you know, like, the one video I posted recently, the bad video etiquette was just the demonstration of, of things like uh, it's funny because it almost looks like someone's moving the camera but obviously it's yeah. no one moving the camera <laughs> it's just the face tracking yeah and uh, like the whole thing where uh, it's kind of it's really uh, I'm it's almost like a commercial in a way for any like real ideas I might have, uh, you know, because I have the the setup with the chair, and uh, with the chair in a good spot, and then I I have my uh, like my computer desk chair thing sitting closer, and I thought that would work okay for any like interview style things. Mm -hmm. um, the funny thing is I might try to. Uh, talk my sisters into like doing some videos. I know my sister Jessie seemed to like 
want to do a video right away because uh, I was talking to a friend on Skype and she's like you got the camera on I'm like yeah and she started like saying stuff she's like hi I'm Jesse uh, blah 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 yeah. <laughs> and I don't know um, <clears throat> so yeah that's the kind of that's pretty much the only kind of videos I could do right now but I've been getting kind of inspired by some of the videos I've been watching. Um, I really wish I could remember the name <coughs> of this YouTube channel, but uh, it's um, well. They really demonstrate how you know how really just it's just how easy it is to do videos or like you know doing funny shit where you go into a store. And mess with the employees or something, <laughs> or okay. like, or you could like dress as one of the employees and uh, yeah. have someone else with a camera, uh, like somewhere else recording you. <laughs> I think I saw something like that for uh, Black uh, Friday or I don't know. Yeah, but, um... Black Friday. There was a, a lot of that going on. I think with these YouTube videos. Yeah, I saw, like, some person trying to be, like, a Target employee or whatever, and it's like, a, oh, well, there's a couple of them doing it, and people are following them around with the camera, and yeah. they just, like, go around trying to act like they're employees helping out customers. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, I kind of, I really thought about uh, doing a video at the store, at a store by my house, because... Today, I swear, like, some dude was, like, following me around the store. Uh, it was funny. It was, there was, like, some fat dude, like, seemed to be, like, showing up in every aisle that I was in. And then I noticed, like, if I did stuff sort of erratically <laughs> or something, like, I put the, uh, like, I put the cart at the end of one of these walkways, and I started, like, uh, going down aisles, like, zigzagging down them. And then I would come back to my cart, and I saw, uh, you know, I kind of saw the guy end up coming back to my, where my cart was, too, but he seemed, like, out of breath or some shit. <laughs> so I was, like, sitting there, I was like, man, this would be hilarious if I could have maybe someone, like, one of my friends holding a camera and just follow me around the store and see, like, yeah. these people, like, fucking profiling or whatever. <laughs> thinking I'm going to steal shit. Uh, but at I don't really mind that at most stores, but this one is one right by my house, so it kind of pisses me off. Because I go there every day, and I'm like, really? Really? I st you, yeah. you really? Am I going to fucking steal shit and then come back tomorrow with a smile and everything? So... I yeah, I don't know what's going on. I just like to play that. around with those people because they're fucking silly. <laughs> Maybe really... they get some reward for catching somebody or something. They're like, oh, this kid looks sneaky. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Man, see, I'm actually doing I'm doing a video right now, but I made a bad uh, wardrobe choice because. Uh, the color of my shirt is like the same color as this chair, so then my <laughs> my head's just floating in front of the chair. That sounds like a good Damn, choice. That's, huh, that sucks though, because I literally like thought about what I should be wearing when I turned on this video, and I fucked it up. But, fucked up. Uh, Terrible. That's also why most a lot of my videos I'm putting up as unlisted, unless they're a real like production of some sort mm. i guess this one's going to be listed because all the other uh generation catalanos are listed so, so mm. i don't know but i'm trying to just i don't know um because i noticed uh i noticed that the like when you're looking at your own unlisted videos um, some of the ads or the related videos on the side are kind of interesting, and uh, so um, I just noticed that they're very different for my listed videos compared to my unlisted videos.
Hmm. Well, that's a bad YouTube etiquette. No, I'm joking. <laughs> but, uh... Yeah, but I know this one I did is probably best off not being listed because it'll freak people out <laughs> or whatever, like where I turn this skateboard that says stereo upside down and things like that. Like, it kind of reveals a little too much about some of these video productions on some of these sites. <laughs> so. Uh, okay. Um... But yeah, uh, let's see, I was playing, uh, I've been playing Assassin's Creed 3, um, I went to go see The Hobbit on cool. Sunday, um, so yeah, cool. uh, that was a pretty good movie, um, and yeah, I can understand, like, people's problems with the movie, with it being kind of too long for a short book, um, if they're they're planning on making three movies out of it and but yeah I can definitely see the issues there but uh, I still thought it was all right like I didn't think it was terrible I didn't think they drew anything out way too long because they kept they still even though like in the beginning of the movie where the, all the doors are together and Bilbo's house like um, that went on for probably like an hour or so but I mean, they still keep you entertained during the whole thing, so it's not like you're sitting there like, what's going to happen next, or whatever, like, come on, let's get on with this, but, you know, they, they keep you going throughout the whole thing, and there was some good action in the movie, too. Um, also, like, the parts where, uh, where Bilbo meets uh, Gollum was pretty good, like, uh, all that was pretty good. Um, as they were like exchanging like riddles and doing their thing, it's, it's uh, I know there's a lot of funny moments. Well, not a lot, but there were some a few funny moments with the uh, golem and everything. But uh, what's weird though is like I know I can kind of see like golem looked a little bit younger or whatever, but I know this is supposed to be like. 60 years before Lord of the Rings and it's like Gollum is still kind of all really crazy and messed up and everything so it makes me think like Gollum must be pretty damn old or whatever in the original mm -hmm. Lord of the Rings movies but you can still see in the in this movie The Hobbit how he still has like a little bit more hair and his hair is like kind of brown instead of like gray or whatever and, but um, mm -hmm. so that was pretty cool and everything and they pretty much of course it's it's literally there to show you like yep there's gonna be a trilogy because they set everything up and it, like all the uh, pretty much all the enemies and things that you're gonna be seeing throughout this trilogy is like where they introduce everything and you know, like, uh, they're going to have the Necromancer that they're going to fight. They showed a little bit of him. Um, they showed, like, of course, the big dragon. Um, I forgot his name. I think it's, like, Smolder or something like that. But uh, that's, like, one of the main villains or the main big monsters that they're going to be fighting. But... Mm -hmm. Overall, it was a good movie. Like I, there was I didn't see any boring parts, um, and like they of course had plenty of fan service too. Like they have Frodo in that in that movie, although it's kind of weird because seeing like Elijah Wood and he looks older, but they're still trying to pass it off as like you know Frodo before the Lord of the Rings. Like I think huh. I think That's they. They sh they show him, they show Bilbo like starting to write the story of the Hobbit, and uh, they show Frodo like running around the house like well, what you got there, and then Bilbo's like it's not ready for reading, but uh like uh, Frodo's I guess he's about to go on the adventure like it's supposed to be 
It's supposed to be like the beginning of the birthday party for Bilbo or whatever. And then like Frodo's like, do you think Gandalf will make it? <laughs> and everything. So it shows you that, uh, you know, it's supposed to be before the Lord of the Rings. But it's funny that Frodo looks, he still looks like Frodo. But of course, it's like Elijah Wood looks a little bit more older. But I, I can see how they try to make him look a little try to do their magic with the makeup to make them look younger, but I don't know. It's still a good movie. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I still want to see that movie. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I don't I don't think anybody should stay away just because they hear bad things. I think we should still go see it because it's still enjoyable to watch. But I know people are trying to uh compare it to like the Star Wars prequels or whatever mm -hmm. but I still um, think um, I still yeah. think the Star Wars prequels weren't bad either but yeah I don't think they were that bad mm -hmm. um, especially especially number three and number two were pretty good yeah I really liked number three it was uh, pretty good <clears throat> Um, well, <clears throat> that Hobbit movie, uh, it still has kind of that visual style from the older, uh, Lord of the Rings movies. Yeah, um, yeah, once you go into it, you definitely feel like, yeah, this is pretty much Lord of the Rings and everything. Yeah. Um, this, I know they try to throw CG everywhere. In the movie, although I didn't really see them work it, like try to do it too much, try to like overload it, mm -hmm. but uh, they, I think they still had a good balance. I know like um, a lot of the the dwarves, like their beards and everything, are kind of CG, but um, it still didn't look too off-putting at all. Um, I know they've got a. That's funny. They've got, like, the tr the trolls that they meet are all, like, CG, and there's a lot of, like, weirdness that they look like. They look kind of weird here and there, but um, I don't know. Well, I, uh, I know the, f the uh, movies that came out uh, a few years ago, they really had this sort of, like, larger-than-life kind of visual style to them. Like it was kind of it was kind of hard to put your finger on really like what was really going on with the special effects, but yeah. that that was the good part though. Like they they did a really good job at mixing like the you know the humans or the actors with the special effects because everything kind of looked extra like shiny and extra extravagant. Mm -hmm. There was a part where. Um they're like traveling on these mountains and it's like uh, storming really bad but then they find out that the mountains are actually these giant golems and they're like fighting or whatever and I thought that was kind of strange like all that all the, uh, the these big giant rock golems are like fighting each other and of course they're like climbing on top of them, almost kind of like Shadow of the Colossus or something like that, but, uh, mm -hmm. I don't know, like, that was kind of strange looking at times, but, uh, mm -hmm. I don't know. Yeah, uh, I don't know, I feel like, uh, I sort of want to ap apologize to Apple at this point, because... I'm on the camera smoking a cigarette and everything. Uh, rated R. <laughs> I was just thinking about that because I did. Uh, I sort of sent them, well, sort of like a email or whatever, saying I'll, I would represent their products and shit. And then, like, maybe they don't want cigarettes and their products and the same shit. Mm. But hell, like, I'm not expecting expecting anything right now like a lot of it is too soon like we need more listeners and, and more YouTube views and such yeah 
Well, they smoke freaking weed right there on Lake Joe's show, so whatever. Yeah, yeah, that makes sense. Yeah, and they, like, even that latest one, he has he has the uh, MacBook sitting right there. Yeah, exactly. So, whatever. Um, I guess another thing I want to talk about is today, Wednesday, but, uh, yeah, um, the new Minecraft update came out. Um, uh-huh. I don't really know, like, the number or whatever version this is. They call it, um, I think this is, like, the 1.0 retail or whatever, something like that. But I know on, uh, on the Xbox, they're, of course, they're basically just calling it Title Update 7. Um, but uh-huh. this includes, uh, includes, you know, your next level on the Xbox of, like, a, lot, a ton of things. They, uh, threw in experience points. Um, they have enchanting, so you can enchant your items and weapons. Um, they have different various new items. Uh, let's see. I was in creative mode today, and I was messing around with quite a bit of stuff. Um, but, uh, they also have animal breeding, so you can, uh, the animals can breed now. Um, you can have them follow you with leads. Did, did they add cats in this one? No, that's going to be the next big update. They're going to add the cats and the... And uh, ocelots and things like that. Um, they have the new biome, the the uh, the mushroom biome is now included. So you know, as you're filling up your world, you can run into the biome where there's just mushrooms everywhere, and you know, giant mushrooms. And of course, they have the mushroom, which is just a cow. But it's a it's a mushroom cow that runs around in those biomes and it has mushrooms on it. Also, uh-huh. no enemies can spawn in the mushroom biome, so it's like perfectly safe. Um, so they have that in there. Um, let's see, they have NPCs now for the villages. Um, That's cool. Yeah. And you can make, like, snow golems also in the game. They have new they have new enemies for the nether. Um, <clears throat> uh, blazes mm-hmm. and magma cubes, I think. They're, magma cubes are basically like slimes, but they're, like, fire slimes, I guess. And the blazes, I think they're, like, fire ghost things. I don't know. Um... Also, they added some stuff from the end, which is a new like realm, like the Nether. But it's—I don't think it's fully accessible in this update. But they have some items from the end in here. Um, apparently, there's a there's a end Ender portal that takes you there, and I actually found one um, in one of the strongholds that's underground. You'll you might find a room that'll have a portal in it, an in- ender portal. You have to have these, like, eyes of ender or something like that to activate it. But, um, apparently that takes you to the end, the end realm, and I know and it's not, or it's going to be in the update where the end is released, but I know there's the ender dragon that you could find there, and you can fight him. Um... But that that's not in this update, of course. So, but like I said, like the some of the big things. Oh yeah, there's also brewing. You can brew potions, so you can make these potions that can give you stats and stuff. Um, I was messing with some in creative mode. They have they have negative effects. Some t- some of them do, and some of them, of course, have positive effects. And they have potions that you can drink. And then there's splash potions, which you can throw. And you can get, like, a splash potion that does, like, instant damage. So you can just sit there and chuck them at enemies, and it'll do damage to them. Or you mm-hmm. can have a poison 
splash potion where you can chuck poison at them or you can chuck health at them you can have a splash recovery where you can like heal them or you can heal other people by hitting them with them and of course they have the regular drinking potions of those types as well so you can sit there and drink them but um of course they have like the enchantment table so you can enchant your shit on there and they have mm -hmm. a brewing station, so you can brew potions and stuff like that. But um, that's what the experience points are used for as well, as for enchanting. As you go through and you do various things, you'll like load up your experience bar, and then you'll gain levels. And I believe you use those levels as like points to buy enchantments at an enchanting table. And there's different types of enchantments that you could put on your items and weapons. Mm -hmm. Um. Let's see. I was trying to think of an enchantment that you can do. I do know, I think there's like something called Silk Touch, which you could put on like a pickaxe. And if you harvest like a gold block, instead of getting, you know, gold ore or whatever, you'll get the gold block, I believe. Like you'll just literally pick that up instead of like. Say, for instance, you br you break a redstone block. Instead of getting a bunch of redstone dust, you'll get, like, the redstone block itself, I believe. I think that's how that works. I'm not too sure. But that's, like, one of the enchantments you can put on shit. And, of course, there's other things. Um, and I think there's, like, some technical things they added into it. I know uh, when your items break, I've noticed, like, they make a louder sound, like, like they literally break in your hands and stuff and um mm -hmm. a lot of I, I don't know if like my brother messed with my tv settings or something but i've noticed like the brightness has kind of been adjusted a bit so um that's cool like i don't know yeah like i said i don't know if it's my tv but earlier i was like going through this dark tunnel and i didn't have any I mean, it was still pretty hard to see, but I could actually see what I was doing and where I was going instead of being completely lost. But, uh, it seems to be pretty cool. But yeah, it uh, came out today, so everyone who has Minecraft should be able to update their shit and get it. And, uh, you know. Right. Yeah. Uh, of course, it's the Xbox edition. Yeah, Xbox 360 edition is what we're talking about. Yeah. All right. You um, should join me on it later, kid. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna get that shit hooked up. Uh, but I'm gonna try to post the show right away tonight. Yeah. So, I don't know. Um, once, yeah, I want to, because I bought Crackdown again, and <laughs> I kind of want to play that, because that's one of those games that I do enjoy just sitting on and running around. It's yeah. almost in the same same idea as, like, the Tony Hawk games, where you just chill and do whatever. Mm -hmm. Have you played Crackdown 2 at all? No, I haven't. Mm -hmm. I haven't. You haven't played that either, right? No, I have not. Um, like, I just kept uh, back when it came out. I would, I would just hear that it wasn't so great. Mm -hmm. So I decided to just get Crackdown One again because I knew, like, yeah. I already know that I like that one. Exactly. Um, yeah, that's kind of something, because. The issue is, is I have no money right now, but uh, what's nice about me uh, having my Xbox again is I can get a lot of old games for really cheap, mm -hmm. so I'm, I'll probably start loading up on those, because I do, I like, you know, I like usually playing the Xbox, but mostly it's just like an easy way to talk to people. Yeah. It's at least, uh, at least until I get my Skype running. I should have been, like, a freaking responsible adult and got my Skype working again. That would solve a lot of my communication issues with people. 
because it seems well I don't know but I my <clears throat> it's obvious that my Facebook is grossly misrepresenting me yeah <laughs> so <laughs> uh, yeah I don't know I could see like there's I have friends that are just like what's your problem man and I'm like it's just uh, it's just my Facebook people it's not reality there's you know, I just feel like writing this stuff, that's all. Mm. It's like it's not not directed at most people, especially because nobody goes on there commenting or liking anything, so it's more just me, like, venting sometimes. I don't know, I, I don't comment because I just don't want to get into all that. It's like, this, is, mm -hmm. this isn't really, like, I don't know, I can't really... Yeah, have well, anything to comment I on need to, to with. right, and, uh, most of the issues is it's kind of laziness on my part, like, if there's topics and such that I want to talk about, then I can find websites or forums or chat rooms yeah. to talk about s certain topics, because it's obvious, like, there's stuff I would like to talk about on there that, like, fucking nobody in my vicinity has any clue of or even cares about mm -hmm. so I just need to go ahead and like find the right uh, find the right forums uh, I do really need to start going into those Joe Rogan forums <laughs> uh, I had a I thought I signed up for it a while back but you have to wait for approval mm -hmm. and uh, I don't, I don't know, but I know at this point I would definitely get approval. Yeah. You gotta hit up Brian be like, what about? Hey, Red Band. Yeah. Yep. I'll have to, I don't know. It would be cool to get in those forums. I, I somewhat wonder if they're still being used, but I guess they are. I guess, you know, hey, I guess... I'm sure, I know that's how forums work, though, like, there's dedicated, like, people who, you know, are on forums. It just seems, like, sort of old-fashioned, but, you know, that's where I need to go. Like, f it's obvious Facebook is not the place for any kind of serious discussion whatsoever. Mm -hmm. I think it's, it's probably just that thing of... Uh, it's just too, maybe it's just too public or something, or they're afraid, like, oh, well, my, this person's gonna read it, and then they're gonna think this stuff, or whatever. It's almost, it really is almost like getting on, like, a world stage or something, I think. And most people are like, oh, I'm not gonna get that personal on the fucking world stage. Mm. But, you know, who can blame them? It's, it's... Uh, Nobody has to do anything they don't want to do, or whatever. Yeah, well... <clears throat> I think most of the time people are just like, what are you on about? They want to do... Maybe they do want to put something, but they just don't understand what's going on. Yeah. Um, I felt like your uh, comment earlier, or, what, or your post earlier, was a little one-sided. <laughs> where it's like... Uh, write the color of what you think about me. I got, and then I I got like that from someone else's page. Uh, every single one of them, though, was, like, positive, except for, like, black. I was like, are we forced to love you? Like, are you forcing us to love you? Uh, right. <laughs> um, that is weird. I didn't think about it that way. Because I got that from, uh, another page. I guess I... W I guess I'll, like, not say the person's name in case they yeah. don't want to be on here. But it was, um, you know, you do you know <laughs> whose page it was no. on? I have oh, no idea. okay. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, well, that's, well, I, I'm glad to hear this, uh, criticism for real because, you know, it's, it is one-sided because I was like, because I normally don't put those stupid things yeah. like, copy and paste this. And blah blah blah, but this time I'm like okay, and I kind of like this this kid style or whatever, 
So I was like, all right, I'll go ahead and do that. <laughs> and it's funny how that like can backfire because people are like, oh, yeah. like, did you write that? Because everything else is on there that it's it's what you wrote. So mm -hmm. it makes sense. Uh, I'm starting to I'm trying to remember if it even says that copy and paste thing. Yeah, it does. Uh, okay. I'm pretty sure. Well. Uh, I don't know, I suppose, like, that usually is the sign of a chain letter. Yeah. So. Yeah, I knew it wasn't, yeah. like, you know, I knew that, it, of course, like, it had to come from somewhere or whatever, maybe. But maybe, or, it was either and that or it was, part. like, uh, oh, I guess you don't have the comment and paste thing on there. I thought you did, but. Anyways, uh, like, I thought that maybe, yeah, you either got it from somewhere else or you were trying to, like, copy from something else or, you know, make up your own little thing. Yeah, because I did make up my own, like, the first line where I said, hey, scaredy cats. Hey, scaredy cats. Because that was, that was just because it's, like, obvious that, it's so obvious some of these things that, there are people at least reading some of my posts, and then they go on their own wall and, and like, post a response or something. And it's, it's, I don't know, I don't understand that type of silliness. Because they could just post it right to my wall. Uh, but I did, uh, I did learn that certain apps and such have certain options. And, like, it seems that the uh, Facebook iPad app does not simply let you write on someone else's wall. Hmm. So maybe uh -huh. people on their different devices are running into this issue, so they just go and they read something, and then they just write on their own wall their, like, response to it. So let's just recap on this post, by the way. Uh just uh, so everyone knows, it says, in a relationship or not, put this as your status and see what you get, what you get inboxed. Okay, so basically what you're supposed to do, you're supposed to go on there and you post the color. It's supposed to be kind of like a, a message, like a secret message or something. Yeah. One of my friends did send me a like, direct message about it. But um, we got green equals I like you. Silver equals I miss you. Yellow equals wanna kiss you. Purple equals I think you're amazing slash great. Gold equals I secretly like you. Black equals I used to like you. Rainbow equals I want to marry you on Facebook. <laughs> Blue equals I want to go out with you. Aqua equals I love you. Gray equals you're cute slash hot slash pretty slash beautiful smiley face. <laughs> so like yeah that last one was really is really dumb <laughs> but that's what i'm saying though like well, the only thing that was uh you know uh a negative was the black like i used to like you or whatever like i don't know like it, it just seemed like it was all one-sided like it was already set up and everything but of course i see people are already commenting with non-existent colors on there <laughs> yeah. I thought that was funny or whatever, but I know something like that might upset you because you're like, eh, this isn't a joke. I want positive feedback. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but that's kind of the thing, the parody of myself thing, where I was like, damn, you kids and your original thoughts. <laughs> yeah. Like, that's all it is. It's, it's that same shit that, uh, and fucking nobody listens to podcasts either, and. Like, it's the Adam Carolla thing, it's like, this is, this is the show, or whatever, like, it's, it's me and everything, but turned up to, like, a million or something. <laughs> That's too much Catalano. I can't handle all that. Uh, <laughs> but, um, yeah, I don't know. Uh, in the end, I guess, the point I'm making is I didn't comment. And it's not because I ignored it, but I actually literally chose not to comment. Yeah. So. <clears throat> Most of the stuff you put up there, I just, like, ignore. Like, I'll, I'll just glance over it and read it, and it's like, oh, whatever. 
the, like that one, I was like, should I put something? And then I was like, wait a minute, where are my choices here? And I was like, I don't feel comfortable. Uh, and then I ran away. Yeah. <laughs> I should have been like, I want to kiss you. <laughs> and then I, I would have gotten like uh, fucking flame, gay flaming or something. I don't know. <laughs> I just get people showing up. Like, That's so gay. You're gay. I'm like, leave me alone. <laughs> but, uh, so. See, right now I'm trying to call this kid out. There we are. Who are you calling out? It's on my Facebook. Oh. No. No. <clears throat> but, uh, yep. So, um. Because I. That is kind of embarrassing. I would not sit here and post something like that. <laughs> like, just all on my own. Hey, people. Like, if I did, I would. It would definitely include lots of, it would include much smarter, like, more specific, like, uh, things. So, I don't know, in a way, maybe I've been inspired to make my own. Mm. And see, to tr you know, to try to gauge what people would like me to be talking about on my page. Mm. I find that to be more fun anyways, like, when it comes to those things, it's like making your own. Sort of just like copy and paste. Copy and paste if you agree. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I did this, uh, what was it? It's one of those app type things, and it said that I'm 98% addicted to Facebook. <laughs> wow, you still have a uh, 2% to go there. You gotta work harder, man. Yeah. Yeah, the person I saw it from, which is the same person I got this chain letter thing from, I think his was like 70-something. Is this somebody in Team White? No, not at all. Okay. It's one of these uh, dummies or whatever. <laughs> <laughs> these Facebook dummies. Yeah, uh, yeah, I don't know if you noticed, but yeah, I joined uh, the Team White not too long ago. But I haven't really been like on their page to look at stuff at all. I'll get like notifications here and there of somebody posting some something on there. I'm just like, no, boring. <laughs> but uh, I don't know. Yeah. This show is fun. Um, so, I guess maybe I'll talk about, uh, some, like, podcast-type stuff. Hmm. Uh, I got that, uh, Adam Carolla app. Oh, yeah? Um, yeah, and it's, it's free. Okay. It, uh, I, yeah, I don't know, I like it. I'm gonna try to keep using that, because, um... I don't know. It seems like the best way, I guess, to support their show. Because I know what... I, I understand that's why these apps are getting really popular with these companies. Because it's it's a direct connection. Like, you're not sharing any statistics with, uh, like, Google or, or any of the ads mm -hmm. and shit that are on your pages. Yeah. Like, people get the app and then all the statistics, like, download numbers and... You know, like even things like uh, if someone listened for 30 seconds or whatever, like it's going directly to that company. And uh, I know recently uh, with Adam Carolla's network, he's been cracking down on the shows and some of them might be getting canceled. Oh, uh, yeah. Because uh, he, he wants to see that they're getting good ratings. Mm -hmm. Um, yeah, I mean, I'm subscribed to, uh, Larry Miller's podcast, but I haven't listened to that in, like, months. I don't even, I think he's just started doing it again, but I know he hasn't showed up on Adam's show because of that fucking, him, like, taking a slip. 
but uh, I thought I heard something yeah. about him showing up soon. But I don't know. You know, uh, I actually listened to uh, uh, Penn Sunday School, the most recent one. Cool. Yeah, I've Cause, I have them. Uh -huh. I have Penn Show subscribed as well, and I was listening to his a while back, but I haven't listened to it lately at all. Mhm. Mm yeah, I I like his show. I was I'm kind of it's the same over here. I I wasn't listening to it for a while, but all of the shows are on that Adam Carolla app, mm -hmm. so it's pretty handy. Cool. Um, what should we call it? Uh, if we're talking about podcasts or whatever, like I was going to talk about mm -hmm. the uh, the. Um, to get the name right okay that's exactly what the, the death squad secret show the second one they had um i don't know if you've listened mm -hmm. to that yet but that was was it the one about shrooms or no, was it just it was uh just the random stuff it was all it was um they had brody on there and they had uh was it don barris or whatever Basically, they're like not, you know, they they're like not on speaking terms or whatever. But they they brought hmm. both of them on the show, and they and Brian was like, "All right, we got to work this out or whatever." But it just like it just fucking exploded, dude. It was pretty bad. Well, not pretty bad, but there there's a lot of like. Uh, there's a lot of hate and like negativity on that show. Like everyone, it seemed like everyone. Well, not everyone, but there was quite a few people. And they had this like uh, this black chick on there, like Tiffany Haddish or whatever. She's like very mm -hmm. fucking like strong, opinionated, you know, kind of black woman. So she was like mm -hmm. she was siding with Don Barris, and they were like both like basically just attacking Brody the whole time and just mm -hmm. like it was, it was it was just like hard to listen to and like uh, Brody was just sitting back like Brian you gotta help me here and like Brian's like off doing something yeah. else or whatever but uh yeah it was pretty funny I did hear that one oh yeah but they definitely kind of they like it wasn't that the one where they were in front of the audience. Yeah, it was live. Yeah, I, I could tell they were. It was a great show, and they were definitely playing up some of the dynamics. Yeah. Especially, like there was, uh, there was one show that, that they did. Uh, it might be a month ago at this point, but uh, Brody did a pretty perfect like fake breakdown thing and really tricked everybody mm -hmm. and like uh you know because he left he left the you know he left where they were recording because he was going to some some other place to do comedy oh, yeah i think i heard that and then he ended up calling He's... yeah he called and he goes i called my mom and they're and like are you like, serious on, are you serious right now brody <laughs> like yeah <man. laughs> i don't know what to do and he's like no nah, i'm fucking around or whatever <laughs> yeah, that was pretty good. But yeah, but that shit was serious though, like on the fucking on the secret show, because he was literally like, "No, we can't be friends. It's not gonna work, Brody. Like, it's the end of it, or whatever. Like, we can't be friends because you're just fucking completely self-centered and everything." Mm -hmm. Like at the end of it, they're like, "All right, we got the Ding Dong show coming up." And Brody's like, yeah, I can't wait to be on the Ding Dong Show. And Don's like, no, you can't, you can't do that. You're not gonna be on it, or whatever. You know. <laughs> so he's basically like, see, end of that for those two, those two hooligans. Right. And uh, for our non-listeners, uh, you wanna. Check out, uh, I guess maybe Death Squad TV or uh, Joe Rogan or something. 
because, well, that's the problem with these podcasts. Nobody knows what we're talking about if we're just naming True. people. Um, exactly, but, uh, uh, yeah, and I'm just, you know, I'm fucking around here. Yeah. Um, besides that is, um, that's not very kosher, but <laughs> I can tell they, uh, like the other night, like they're, they're, um, <clears throat> they're, they're tra- I don't know. Uh, I don't know what's allowed to be said or not. Because of, uh, they have to protect their business. Yeah. I don't know. Because uh, people aren't supposed to be doing uh, things with their website. Okay. Um, well, a little bit anyway. of uh, free publicity. Never hurt anybody. It's all good. So, yeah, they can, uh, yeah, if you want to understand well, what we're yeah, all talking about. Well, yeah, still, you know, of course. Out people should check out I really I guess that squad.tv is probably the best place because that's where all the shows are just l- lined up neatly because of course they're all over uh, well they're all over Vimeo uh, Joe Rogan's show and the Death Squad shows mm-hmm. but I think pretty much everything gets posted to Death Squad um, I, I did notice Joe has was trying to promote his old, uh, well, I, th- I look at it as old, but his website, the Joe Rogan Database. So that might be another place to find uh, all that kind of stuff, the Death Squad shows and everything. Mm-hmm. So, um, anyways, I'd, I'd say we're about done with this episode because it's about an hour. Alrighty. Yeah, I mean, I can't really think of anything else to talk about. Right, and we're gonna we're gonna try to be more consistent, cause it it really doesn't take that much for me to post the show, especially when we stick with, uh, you know, just one recording track. Mhm. It makes it a lot easier, cause all I have to do is just jam them together, and then I just post it really. Yeah. Alright, so, um, anyways, uh, Want to do some, uh, like, plugging in of Facebook or whatever? Yeah, uh, listeners should check out the, uh, Facebook, which is facebook.com slash, uh, Generation Catalano, or just search, uh, uh, Generation Catalano Podcast. Um, we're on YouTube which is where you should be uh, listening to this. It's uh, on my YouTube channel right now, uh, which is Tarokun182. Um, I guess I'll give you the email, but I haven't... I've been... I've been locked out of that email, and I have to figure out how to get it back. But uh, it's... Uh, Jenner Cat Show at Gmail dot com. That's G E N E R C A T S H O W at Gmail dot com. Mm-hmm. There we go. Yeah. All right. So, all right. That's the end of the show. Uh, goodbye. See y'all later.